As an award-winning singer, songwriter, and producer, Julie Dexter transcends genres. Jo soul, jazz, blues, her art pulls from a range of musical styles which can be heard in every silky smooth vocal. And today, she is in our spotlight. Oh, Julie, thank you so much for gracing us with your smooth sounds this morning. Uh, let's talk about really how long you've been in Atlanta. You're actually from England, but we were able to get you over here and it's been several decades, right? Yes, firstly, thank you for having me, Christine. Appreciate the opportunity. Of course. Um, yes, I'm from Birmingham, England, born and raised. Um, studied in uh, London and I came to Atlanta in 1999. I've recorded eight albums Great. since I've been here. And uh, the song I just sang, Choices, that was actually a remix of a song that um, probably one of my most popular songs um, on Spotify, Pandora, and that, that's always the one that people have chosen. So I, I figured I'd do a, a different version of it just for the recording. Listening to you and talking about having um, the depth and the breadth uh, of music that you have, you're vibing two of my favorites, which are uh, Anita Baker and Chardet. Tell me who were some of your inspirations? Well, Sade, definitely. She's definitely been a, an influence on me. Um, an artist called Omar, who's a king, in my opinion, um, from England. Ella Fitzgerald, um, Abby Lincoln, Sarah Vaughan. Um, Dolly Parton is one of my favorite songwriters. She's actually written some of the, 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 the dopest songs to me in terms of as a female from her perspective, in terms yes. of her experiences. So um, a bit of everybody. 
you mentioned this is a new album. Now, did you write it during the pandemic? It's so weird to say that because now the pandemic did start almost two years ago. The pandemic um, pretty much put my music on hold in the sense of being an artist performing because that's where I connect with my audience. I didn't get to do that as much in COVID. Um, thankfully, things are opening up back now and I'm getting to be back on stage. Um, I've got some shows coming up that I'm really excited about because I get to see my audience again. You mentioned performances. Um, tell us how we can see you and find your great music here in Atlanta. Atlanta's opening back up and I've just got booked for the Atlanta Jazz Festival. So that will be Memorial Day weekend. It's I'm excited bad. about that on Monday. Yeah. Um, I have a show in March um, at a place called The Sweet Lounge on March 10th. And then I'm actually going to be in Philadelphia um, mid-March, mid um, three nights at a place called South. So I've got a few things coming up. And um, also I'm going to Europe in the summer. So I'll be able to go home and see my mom. This is the first year that I've actually been back on the road since the pandemic. So yeah. I'm really excited. And like I said, I'm working on a new album. So I feel like I'm getting my mojo back. And um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been awesome. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm very grateful.